Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by The Org Boss. The Org Boss is a residential and commercial organizing company that specializes in decluttering, interior design, inventory staging, business processing documentation, and more. Reach The Org Boss today at 832-617-0624 or send an email to info at theorgboss.com. True Digital Media Consulting. You're online right now and so are your customers, but marketing has to be a consistent journey. True Digital Media Consulting can help with your online ads, organic growth, and so much more. Contact us today at 832-934-4436 or visit our website at truedigitalmediaconsulting.com. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertiseatthesphere.tv or call us at area code 832 772-7789. What's up, good people? Welcome back to another great episode of startup masters i'm your host gary lee also known as g hawkins look you can find me anywhere online facebook instagram twitter snapchat at g hawkins that's g hawkins with the z my lovely co-host is not here today however we've got an action-packed show as always because that's what we do here on startup masters I, the idea is to give you all the entrepreneurial journey all the roller coaster situations everything that happens to those that are in business so that you don't have to make those same mistakes as we often say at this table you don't have to skin your knee to the white meat that's why we put on the things that we do that's why we bring in the guests that we bring in and that's why we continue to sew back into each and every one of you all that are tuned into this via your Apple TV, you're listening to this on Spotify, you're tuned in via iHeartRadio, wherever you're at, we're here for you. So today, we're going to talk a little bit broader. We're going to talk umbrella corporations. And we want to bring somebody in and have a conversation about being able to take those entrepreneurial steps and focus those things under one cohesive project that can change your life for the better. And we're going to discuss fab life 31 with miss the one you smiling already you laughing already <laughs> don't laugh too much the only one miss ashley janae miss ashley janae how are you today my dear I'm good how are you i'm doing fine doing fine thank you so much for tuning in with us um as you can see i'm no laptop in front of me today i ain't even put my sports coat on yet like it's just one of those days i'm, I'm rolling through this but we're gonna make the best out of it i'm assuming you've had days like that right uh yes yeah the epitome of my brand it's about just just being fabulous and being extraordinary in any way possible look at you you better you better take advantage of this opera i see you okay so and for those that are tuned in we we obviously you know the deal you know the routine and how we like to get down on this show uh, we like to take you on this fantastic journey this voyage through the entrepreneurial scope we want to start ashley from your conception of business where you came about the ideas that you had we want to migrate to where you're at today and what you provide and then of course we want to talk about the 5 10 20 year plan you ready to take this journey with us i'm so ready okay let's do this then we're gonna hop in our delorean we're gonna hit 88 miles an hour we're going back in time to when you first said, you know what? There's something fabulous about life. Mm -hmm. And why not circle that thing around the number 31? Talk to us when yes. you said you want to put together Fab Life 31. What was going on? Well, since we're taking it way back, mm -hmm. I'll go a little bit before Fab Life 31 was even birthed. Um, 
throughout my collegiate career, I actually spent a lot of time working as a freelance makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Um, And in those times, I found myself talking to my clients like you, like a life coach would talk to a client. Um, And then I realized that, you know, I love I loved making women feel beautiful on the outside. But I knew that there was something deeper that I wanted to go into. I knew that I I enjoyed touching their hearts more than I did their faces, Mm -hmm. if that made any sense. And then from there, um, I took a look at my own life. Because I realized that, you know, as I'm doing makeup, not only for myself, at when I get home, I have to take this makeup off. It comes off. And then what happens? I have doubt. I have fear. Mm. I'm looking in the mirror at all of these things. So I'm like, how do I make that beautiful first before I pick up the lipstick, before I pick up the foundation? Sure. And that is when Fab Life 31 was born. Okay. So so let's dive a bit deeper because you, you touched on a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. One, you touched on insecurities that a lot of not just women, Mm -hmm. but a lot of people go through when they've taken off these multiple hats or in your case, they've taken off these faces Mm -hmm. that they've had to put on for society, not just for those that they love and cherish, but even those that that truthfully don't even have a monochrome of desire to manipulate your life. But we still put on these facades for folks because this is what society has told us to do. So talk about some of the things and obviously not to get too personal, but Mm -hmm. but let's let's peel this layer back. Like KG would say, talk a little bit about what what really what were some of those hiccups along the way? What were some of those things you were battling when you were trying to build this brand and put this together? Okay, so I've always loved all things beauty. I've always loved that. Okay. But now, you're not talking about our show on the network. We got a show <laughs> called All Things Beauty. Well, I was like, I, that's a great plug. You know what? I'm actually not, but <laughs> I'll have to check that out. We'll take it anyway. <laughs> um, I've always loved that. But growing up, you're not taught to pursue passions. Mm. You're not taught to pursue the things that you love. You're taught Talk to pursue it. something that's going to make money, per se. And so growing up, you know, I follow behind, you know, those who came before me. Okay, I got to go to school. I got to do good in school so I can get the good job. Once I get the good job, I got to climb this corporate ladder. Mm -hmm. And then once I start doing all that, it's like, okay, I'm climbing this ladder, but something's missing. Something's missing in my spirit. Something's missing in my heart. And that's when I went on my own journey. I'm like, okay, how do I get to a place of happiness? How do Mm -hmm. I get to a place of purpose where I'm not on autopilot, basically? Okay, you go to work, come home, get up, do it again. Get up, you do it again. You're like, going from day to day and you're not you're not satisfied in life sure and then I found it was not only for me it was for everybody around me you know my friends are complaining about the same thing I see my parents working hard you know the people that are around me I'm like well what do you do to get to a place of purpose mm. yeah and, and I think that we <laughs> I, I can't tell you um, a couple of things first and foremost how strenuous is it For you to go through life and for those that are you're in traffic right now you're listening to this think about this how strenuous is it for you to go through life at a young age 17 18 having to truly make a decision between following your passions and dreams and chasing the dollar Mm -hmm. because everything in society tells us well put away the childish things and go be this because we have seen this to be successful When nowadays, for those that really sow that hefty seed, Mm -hmm. you can turn that passion into profitability. Mm -hmm. You've just got to know how to. Am I right? Hashtag Fab Life 31. I'm going to just throw it out there for you. (laughs) Thank you very much for that plug. I appreciate that plug. But uh, a word that you just said really, really stood out to me, and it's basically having the ability to put in the work for that thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's really like the basis of Fab Life 31, because when you think about the word fabulous, it just means extraordinary. It means going the extra mile, doing what everybody else is not willing to do so you can get to where everybody else is not going to be at the end of the day. And that's in everything in your life. If you want to follow the corporate career, great, do it. But slay it. If you want (laughs) to, you know, do the entrepreneurial journey, do it. Slay it. You know, every Everything that you do, you need to be the best version of you. I feel that. So I am all about teaching people how to do that. Okay. I'm, so. I'm, I'm 100% with that. Now, talking about that, that teaching aspect, mm-hmm. as you've gotten things moving in the proper perspective and, thing, and going in the direction you want to, what do you think were some of those nuggets, those early on nuggets? And we'll talk about the, the latter things toward mm-hmm. the end of the show. But early on, what were some of the things that kind of hit you in the face? And it was like, oh, here's a learning opportunity. Or here was a roadblock that taught you to do X. What were some of those things you kind of went through and, 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 and took away from? Well, I wouldn't say went through per se, but I would 
I learn a lot from other people. Okay. So I do a lot of, you know, research and reading and actually following what, uh, what other entrepreneurs went through. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, they're on to something. They're, they're telling you how, how they did it, how they got to this place, how they, um, you know, went from rags to riches or whatever mm. the case may be. And I'm like, if, if they can do it, I can do it. That's very true. So. And, and here's one of the key things uh, for those that are listening right now, for those that are tuned in, in order to be able to have your own story, in order to be able to go from rags to riches, you've got to be organized. Mm-hmm. And there's one particular person that we like to refer to when we're talking about organization in your business. This particular portion of the show is sponsored by the org boss. So has your clutter in your home or office gotten out of hand? Are you sick and tired of spending way too much time trying to find the things you need on a daily basis? If so, then give the org boss a call so that she can help you create organized, functional systems that match your personal lifestyle. The org boss is a residential and commercial organizing company that specializes in decluttering, home staging, interior design, space planning, inventory staging, and business process documentation for your growing businesses looking to formally document their procedures. Call the org boss today at area code 832-617-0624 or send an email over to info at theorgboss.com. That's info at T-H-E-O-R-G-B-O-S-S dot com. So, Moving back into this aura uh, of the masterpiece we call Fab, um, excuse, I'm 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 about to choke on it myself (laughs) right now. Fab Life Thirty One. Yes. Let's break this down. We talked about fabulous and 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 being that excellence, right? We Mm -hmm. talked about that piece of it. Give us the life in the thirty one. What what what's behind that? Give us those gears behind. Let's pull the curtain back. All right, let's do it. All right. So basically, like I said before. Every area of your life needs to be a reflection of being fabulous. So that means whether you're at the job, Mm -hmm. whether you're at home, whenever you walk outside of your home, you need to be a reflection of that fabulosity. Whenever you're talking to someone, whenever you are representing you, yourself, you, I think what a lot of people miss is that you're a brand. Mm. Just like McDonald's goes so hard, Chick-fil-A goes so hard. Like you, you know that brand when you see it. So when people see you, they know you, they know how you're going to come into a room. They know how you're going to sound when you speak. You, That's how you represent yourself. So that's the fabulous and that's the life aspect. Okay. Now, the 31 aspect is actually from a spiritual standpoint and it's from, it stems from the Proverbs 31 woman in the Bible. Okay. Now, when a lot of people read that verse, if you have read it, if you haven't read it, I recommend reading it. <laughs> but if you have, she is a multifaceted woman. She is a boss in her family. She's a boss outside of her family she's an entrepreneur she does it all but when a lot of people read that verse they think oh do I need to learn how to do all of these things in order to be a reflection of her but no it's just a it is being the modern day version of her basically everything that you're engaged in Mm -hmm. you need to be fabulous at it you need to go the extra mile with it that 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 totally makes sense and would you say that a lot of times you've seen people that may have given up a little too soon along that journey of excellence, along that journey of becoming fabulous? Most definitely. And that's really why I go so hard for this brand, because even me, you know, the way I carry myself or the way that I do go hard for the brand, a lot of people use the excuse, oh, well, I don't have time for that. Mm -hmm. I have X, Y, and Z, or I have to do this, or that was too hard, so I just gave up. You're You're not representing that extraordinary aspect. You're, you're, you're not trying, basically. Like, you haven't given yourself mm. the ability to do it okay. because of your excuses, basically. No, I get it. I get it. And, and there are a lot of times that people do pull out the excuse book because it's comfort. <laughs> they mm-hmm. live in that clutch instead of going out to put their best foot forward, instead of going out to, to be multifaceted, as you mentioned from Proverbs 31, instead of going out and being whatever they want to be, mm-hmm. being limitless in regards to what society tells them. Unfortunately, though, we have hit our Facebook limit. So for <laughs> those that are tuned in on a replay here on Facebook, we, we love you. We adore you. Thank Thank you so much for tuning in. But we only give you a small glimpse of the show. You've got to go subscribe. So 
Head over to Sphere.tv forward slash Startup Masters. We've got some options for you, folks. You can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play Music, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. You can even find us on your Amazon Alexa in your kitchen. You can just listen to the whole show. Of course, while you're there, make sure you review us. Give us those constructive criticisms. We want to know how we're doing. We want to know if the show, if this particular show is really bearing fruit that's giving you something to take back into your business or your aspiring business. And, of course, share it out. Share with your family, your friends, your colleagues. Share with your loved ones. Share with your haters. Share with <laughs> anybody and everyone that you know that's looking to get those gems when it comes to the entrepreneurial process of building a business. And, of course, last but not least, if you truly love what we're doing here, sow a seed. Go to sphere.tv forward slash donate we've got a couple of donation options you can donate one time right on the website or if you prefer you can do a patreon based donation that's going to put you in a subscription model and we're going to give you exclusive content that's just for you so facebook we love you but you gotta tune in and subscribe right here at the sphere so let's keep this party rolling mm -hmm. Let's pull this hood back because before the show started, mm -hmm. you said, you know what? This is umbrella. Right. We've got a lot <laughs> of different things underneath that have helped build this brand to where it is today. So let's talk a little bit about the products and services that you've brought forth to the table, virtual table or mm -hmm. intangible table um, that you want the public to know about. Okay. So I'll, I'll go back a little bit. Um, so Fab Lab 31 originally started as a blog okay. and it was for me to hold myself accountable so I can be an example of living that life that mm. I'm, you know, trying to tell people about. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's how I want to do anything in my life. I just, I like to lead by example first before okay. I open my mouth and do anything else. Um, so it started as a blog and then one day I was, um, you know, thinking and I'm like, there's a deeper message that I want to get out to a broader audience. So I decided to write a book. And mm -hmm. at this time, this is, this is a, a huge representation of what it means to just take the leap before you have any type of plan. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, simply because I didn't have a huge following at the time. Uh -huh. um, and I'm like, you know, nobody's going to read this book. Nobody knows me. Nobody cares at the end of the day. So um, let me let me pin that right there. Okay. Let me go stop right <laughs> there. Blogging. Yes. Author. Mm hmm That's a transition. Mm hmm There are people out here that currently blog and want to write a book. Mm hmm So talk a little bit about that transition from blogging once a day, twice a day, once a week, twice a week, to saying, you know what, I've got to put my hat on, I've got to become uh, a, a good steward of this time mm -hmm. to really create page turners. What was that process like? Well, for me, I mean, at the end of the day, a, what a lot of people know of as a blog is just something they go to on a daily basis, maybe to get a few tips here and there. Yeah. You're not going on a blog to read for hours and hours on end. Mm -hmm. And I knew that the message that I had to deliver was a wider message. So I'm like, at this point, the blog can't hold the capacity of the message that I want to send over. So after that, I kind of sat down and wrote out a plan about, you know, wh what is the book going to be about? What is the message that I want to be in it? Sure. And then, of course, I had to do the research of how to become a self-published author. Um, and then the rest is pretty much history. I mean, it just kind of flowed from there. Well, when you, and when you say, and, and literally, I want to dive into this because I've been considering, mm -hmm. you know, putting together yeah. the, a few pieces of paper that mm -hmm. I might call a book. Okay. Um, <laughs> what was that writing process like mm -hmm. for you? Well, um, when I got rid of all the doubts and the fears mm. out of the way. Um, that's a, that's that's a, a hook whole, by itself. That's a whole nother hook right there. Because yeah. even when I do, when I when I go out to places and I'm doing, you know, events and things like that, I get a lot of people who come up to me with that same question. Hey, how did you do it? I've, I've been sitting on a book for years. I've been sitting on a book for 10, 20 years or whatever the case may be. But it's just a matter of just, like I said before, just taking that leap, mm -hmm. writing the plan out. And I think the easiest thing for me to do is set an end date. When do you mm. want this book to come out? This book has got to be out by the end of the year. Okay, well. Well, now let's work backwards. Mm, a pin. Yeah. Y'all know we like to, <laughs> we, we drop a pin at the table because there was a gym that just placed down. It just touched down. I want to make sure y'all got that. You set your end result, work your way backwards 
because now you know where you're headed. Mm -hmm. you, you don't know how to write a journey if you don't know what your end destination is. Even when you open up Google Maps, you got to mm -hmm. put in the end destination so you can get that journey. But that's so important. I think a lot of times entrepreneurs get lost in the sauce mm -hmm. of trying to build a business because they have no idea what that end result should look like. Exactly. And they're winging it day by day. Mm -hmm. So, but please continue. Yeah. So once you set that end result and tend to work backwards, mm -hmm. um, you develop a plan basically. Okay, well, I'm going to write every day. And a lot of people, I mean, most of us work full time or have part time jobs or whatever the case may be. So you have to plan around that schedule. True. Okay. A lot of mornings when I was writing my first book, of course, I had to be to work maybe about nine at the latest. Mm -hmm. I was getting up at 4 a.m. to write. Ooh, sacrifice. Um, sacrifice. Come exactly. On. So yeah. at the end of the day, that's what it was. You know, I can't go to every happy hour because I'm home writing and trying to finish this book. I just brought it to the mind. You know, I can't, I, <laughs> I can't I love, go to brunch. I, love it. Oh, <laughs> I can't you, do that. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> so, she didn't brought a brunch. Yeah. I mean, and... and, and uh, that's a word that a lot of people run from. Nobody yeah. wants to sacrifice. Everybody yeah. wants to. It, everybody wants to be the boss. Everybody wants to be the CEO with all the money and you know the the dope Instagram feed. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. It's My taking God. sacrifice. It's taking energy. It's taking. Okay, Resources. I need to choose between what I'm going to do. Am I going to spend my money on those shoes or am I going to spend my money on investing in this trademark, investing mm, in this LLC, sorry. or whatever the case may be? So speak it. You know. No, I do. <laughs> I, I, I understand yeah. the sacrificial grind mm -hmm. that it takes to birth a business. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times people, um, they, they just like the iceberg, they see the tip of it, whatever's above water, they have no idea mm -hmm. the work that went in. For those that are tuned in right now, you're sitting on your couch and you're watching this on YouTube. You, sometimes you have no idea the work that goes in on the back end behind the scenes, the late night stuff, 4 a.m. early mornings, missing the happy hour, Lord <laughs> help us, missing the brunches. Oh, I can't even do it. I, it's just that, that whole concept of putting yourself second mm -hmm. and putting the business first. Yep. Now, because you're, you're rolling through those things, right, obviously one of the big things that, that, that's necessary for most businesses to get off the ground is marketing, being mm -hmm. able to market that thing and let people know that marketing exists. Right. And this particular portion of the show has a company that can help you get your marketing together, and that's True Digital Media Consulting. So you're online right now, and so are your customers. The question is, how do you actively reach each and every one of them? Marketing has to be a consistent journey, and we're here to help you with every step of that true digital way of course the folks over at true digital media consulting can help with your website development online ads your business reputation which is very important and organic growth on your famous search engines so give them a call today to discuss a customized strategy for your business at area code 832-934-4436 or send true digital an email over to info at true digital media consulting.com mention the sphere to receive a free 30 minute strategy consultation folks so if, you, if you're rocking with a business please take advantage of true digital media consulting to kind of help get that marketing piece under wraps now we're talking what's under the hood we're talking mm -hmm. mechanics talk a little bit about what you do every day because obviously you've written and i and i trust i heard you when you said first book i, I heard that you caught I, that I, I, okay I, I, okay I, it's not too much that <laughs> i was passes wondering me. i was wondering I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> trying to be as attentive as possible yes 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 so what's what's going on behind the scenes mm -hmm from a process perspective what type of things do you have on rinse and repeat that helps you stay effective in managing this umbrella corporation with all the entities underneath it to be totally honest th this may sound a little weird but it has nothing to do with business talk about it, it. is my daily routine okay speak um on it. it it's basically getting up every morning showing gratitude mm. 
<laughs> making sure that um, I'm eating right, mm-hmm. making sure that my energy levels are high, mm-hmm. making sure that I'm drinking enough, uh, drinking enough water, yeah, working skin's out. Skin's glowing. I see you. Okay. okay I see you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the stuff that keeps me going in my business because at the end of the day, if I'm not where I'm supposed to be, I can't pour into this brand, into this business like I need to. Yeah. So that's really the most important thing that I keep on rinse and repeat. Gotcha. Um, and see, I'm going to, once again, I'm going to drop this pin real quick. <laughs> Because you mentioned two things that I think are, are wildly important. One is a respect for your routine. Mm-hmm. And a lot of entrepreneurs don't understand, those that are starting out, they don't understand the importance of getting into the flow mm-hmm. of things, right? So you got to respect the routine. Secondly, for those that are tuned in right now, you're listening to this on iHeartRadio, you cannot pour from an empty cup. If that vessel is barren, you got flies falling around that thing. It's <laughs> dust, tumbleweeds. Empty. You can't sow into a business. You can't sow into employees. You can't sow into a vision if there's nothing being poured into you. Mm-hmm. So you've got to sow into self. Talk a little bit about the importance of you protecting this 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 routine of yours I, what i would like to call your that creative space your mm-hmm. flow and juju as kg likes to say how important is that to you and and is that something you do every morning to protect that is it something you also have to retreat away from society to do talk a little bit about that well really all of the above everything that you just said is something that i have to do um mm-hmm. i'm very adamant about the time that I spend on certain things, what I let into my spirit, what I let out of my spirit, because at the end of the day, especially the type of brand that I have, that's extremely important for me. If I'm telling you that you can be extraordinary, that you can be anything you want to be, then I have to be an example of that. And for me, in order for me to do that, I have to um, feed myself properly with the right things on a daily Mm. basis. Am I showing gratitude? Am I eating right? Am I watching certain things that are feeding me negativity? Am Mm. I listening to certain things that are feeding me negativity? So, I mean, all of that kind of falls under one umbrella of, um, you know, me being the ultimate entrepreneur, the ultimate businesswoman. Yeah. I mean, you are what you eat, Mm -hmm. whether whether that's tangible or intangible, what you consume will ultimately tell the tale of who you are because exactly. input to some degree should equal output. So if you, you've got to take in greatness to to deliver greatness. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's overall where you're headed. Now of course along this route, right, there's mm-hmm. some there's some bumps and bruises. Um, and I wanna talk a little bit about what you do when you find yourself in a dilemma, how do you get back on track? Mm-hmm. You come from an elongated vacation. You're trying to get back on track with work. You've got a bad client. Uh, something didn't work out right. How do you internally get your business back on track? Well, it's funny you asked me that. I was actually just thinking about that the other day because working full time and then trying to have a side hustle or whatever the case may be, the 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 amount of busyness cannot be explained so yes. you know one yes. day I was I was sitting and I was thinking I'm like is there ever going to be a time where I can just you know have everything done I can just relax a little bit and then a voice came in and was like no that's never going to happen ever. because as great as you want to be now now you have multiple clients now you have um multiple speaking engagements in the same day it's like it never goes away Mm. so i think the most important thing is just about management understanding that every day is not going to be easy everything is not going to go as planned Mm -hmm. but you're still you you're still the brand you still represent what you're representing and you have an end goal just like we were talking about um in the previous segment just keeping that end goal in mind is really what keeps you going why what is your why Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. Why are you getting up every day going after this brand? Why are you getting up every day and um, telling people that this is what they need to believe in? This is what they need to go after. That's what keeps you going at the end of the day. Love it. The light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. You got to follow that, man. Watch out. It might be a train, though. You better be careful. You (laughs) never know. Never know what's going on. Just jump out the way. Exactly. (laughs) Keep it moving. So speaking of moving, let's transition slightly toward our our, the outlook segment Mm -hmm. of this conversation because we did talk about the journey and the end result but we really didn't define that thing as far as what fab life 31 looks like for you Mm -hmm. in the year 2020 2030 
40. We're talking going into those retirement years. What's that What's that 5, 10, 20 year plan look like for Fab, Fab Life 31? Man, so we're going to put on our dream hat. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, like I said, Fab Life 31 is an umbrella. And what I do is I'm an author, I'm a motivational speaker, and I'm also a purpose coach. So after I get done with all of that, I want to get to a, a broader spectrum. So we're mm -hmm. talking about doing selling out shows like Essence, TED Talks, all types of things like that. I want to get this message out to as many people as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, going into schools, going into women's homes. I mean, all types of different things. TV shows. Mm. Um, I mean, you name it. Podcast? It's, Podcast. I mean, I, you know, somebody mentioned that to me I mean, the other day. <laughs> some, some to think yeah. about as a delivery mechanism. Yeah, and then and and then really having an having an umbrella where I'm helping people in in every way of life. Mm. So having cooking classes, having wow. fitness classes, having <laughs> business classes, finances, all types of things, because it's like every area of your life needs to be a reflection of that. So, Very true. Yeah. Very true. I, I like that idea. Um, of being able to touch people in multiple ways mm -hmm. because really um, we're always taught niche, niche, niche. We're not necessarily taught umbrella. Mm -hmm. We're not necessarily taught turnkey, right? Maybe turnkey within our particular niche where yeah. we provide an A to Z solution. But being able to get inside of a company, an entity, a model, a machine mm -hmm. that's powered by something sustainable that says, you know what, I want to be able to touch you financially, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, mm -hmm. in areas that will benefit us to have that fabulous life. Yes. Following Proverbs 31. I'm putting it all together. Thank you. I'm picking Thank up you. what you're putting down. You, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> you catch on quick. I, I do like a little <laughs> something. And, and, and that's the way we, we have to, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, before we go any further, this particular portion is sponsored by us right here at The Sphere. So, are you starting your business or looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across this world to build your brand or to sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-772. 7789 or send us an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv booyah <laughs> did that thing <laughs> feels good dropping all three ads because normally kg and i we flip back and forth mm -hmm. but sometimes i let me let me just get these out right so a seed folks <laughs> so a seed so one last question I have for you, mm -hmm. and I want to take you in a different direction than uh -oh. you've been taking Should this I be whole nervous? conversation. Perhaps. Okay. So, <laughs> let's rewind the tape. Mm. Obviously, you have a desire to touch people in all facets of life. Right. Let's take back that whole design concept and idea. Mm -hmm. You've put thoughts and, and verbiage down meticulously over time to create this first book. Second one's on the way, I already know, if this it's ain't already here. It's already out. It's already out. What's the name of the second out. book? Throw the, the second book The second book is actually It's Okay to Be Selfish, uh, which is the single woman's guide to living fabulously free. So. Wait a minute. Yep. So, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're we gonna talk about that. Okay. <laughs> Rewind the tape on the second book. Mm -hmm. Gone. First book. Gone. Taking us back to infancy of the business, mm -hmm. conception of the idea, yeah. meeting that first client, sowing a seed, and seeing that smile on on his or her face, erasing all of that, eradicated. Taking you back to right when the idea first hit you. But the difference is we're going to slide you some seed money. Mm. How would you rebuild Fab Life 31 and all the entities underneath the public speaking engagements, being a motivational speaker, writing not one but two books? How would you re-canvas the creation of this, this corporation in a different way with dollars in your pocket? 
whew, so not having to penny pinch as I go along. Mm. That's a nice thought. Uh, to be totally honest, I would invest in myself more. By that, I mean going going to more conferences, going to more going to more events where where people are doing what I want to do. So I can look at them and see them as an example, see how they're running their conferences, see how they're getting up on a stage and speaking, see how the crowd is responding to them so I can know what I need to do going forward. Because like I mentioned mm. earlier, um, you learn from others. You do. And at the end of the day, you need to be watching the heavy hitters that you want to be like. Mm. Um, and that's one of the things that I didn't start doing until really recently. Okay. Um, really learning, really understanding the importance of that. So no, I, I think you you are spot on. Mm-hmm. Sewing back into self is one of the things. Investing into self mm-hmm. through continued education, mentorship. That's an entrepreneur's missing treasure chest. Yeah, around every cove because I think a lot of us, uh, even myself, we've fallen short on wanting to reach out Mm -hmm. whether that's fear of not knowing what we think we should know and not wanting to let others know that we don't know or fear of saying maybe i didn't build this myself i had to get help Mm -hmm. but really that's how big businesses are built it's not just one person it's a multitude and it's often through that mentorship often through continued education often Mm -hmm. through going to those courses and sitting down and and picking the brains of those who have made the mistakes Mm -hmm. so that you don't have to exactly that's exactly it i think that's the most that's more valuable than investing in the marketing investing in you know trying to get more clients because it's like if you you can have an inflow of clients but if you don't know what to do with them it's a waste very true. so true indeed ashley janae yes. with fab life 31 <laughs> my dear because of the toils and tribulations you've been through because of all the trials and the work you've had to do to build your brand we would like to officially coin you a startup master yay yes indeed (laughs) please let everyone know anyone online let them know where they can get not one but both books Mm -hmm. and then of course (laughs) where they can reach out to you if they have any questions or they'd like to join your tribe most definitely so actually i gave you guys the name of the second book but i didn't give you the name of the first one now the first book is actually called glow through it Mm -hmm. and it is 10 tips to developing an action plan for your life and womanhood and then the second on amazon right yes it's on amazon you can find it on amazon um and then also like i mentioned the second book is it's okay to be selfish which is a single woman's guide to living fabulously free and that is also on amazon okay great we're definitely going to get that up for those that are tuned in because it's important we we believe it's important to sew back into those that are sewing into us mm-hmm. so you know hopefully all of Thank our subscribers you. will go out and, and grab that book mm-hmm. um I would like to say thank you so much. Thank you for, for having me. No, no, thank you for coming. This is why this table was created and invented. And it's people like you as entrepreneurs that have been through the, the, the test of time, that have the dreams and aspirations that are setting the trends for all entrepreneurs moving forward. So thank yes. you again. I appreciate you. No problem. Um, anytime. For those that are tuned in, of course, if you need to reach us here at the show, shoot us an email, startupmasters at thesphere.tv or across any social media platforms at the Sphere TV. Use our coveted hashtag startupmasters. And if you need to reach me anywhere online, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snappity, Chatting, at G Hawkins, that's G Hawkins with a Z. This has been another great episode of Startup Masters. We will see you all next time. Take care.